Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kevin Gandhi. In this video, we will be discussing about blood, properties of blood, composition of blood and functions of the blood. As we all know that human body is made up of numerous cells. Cells are the structural and functional unit of the body. Collection of these cells having similar structure and performing common function is known as tissue. Blood is also one kind of tissue. It is the connective tissue in the fluid form. As it circulates all around the body which allows the constant communication between tissues distinct from each other. Blood is also known as fluid of life as it transport oxygen from lungs to various tissues of our body. Blood is also known as fluid of growth as it carries all the nutritive substances derived from the di digestive system to various cells of our body for the production of energy and also for the growth. It is also known as fluid of health. Our blood contains immune cells. Now this immune cells protects our body from all the invading pathogens which affects our body and its functioning. Now talking about the properties of blood. Our blood is red in appearance. The blood that is flowing through arteries is scarlet red in appearance because of higher concentration of oxygen in it. Whereas the blood flowing through the veins is purple red in appearance because of carbon dioxide in it. Talking about the normal volume of blood into the body. So in normal adults, the volume of blood is 5 liter. In newborn babies, it is 450 ml. The pH of blood. The blood is slightly alkaline in nature. The normal pH of blood is 7.4. Viscosity. Viscosity means thickness of any fluid. The viscosity of blood is 5 times more than that of water because of the presence of blood cells and the plasma proteins. Now talking about the composition of blood. Our blood consists of formed elements which is the cellular portion and the liquid portion. The, the cellular portion consists of mainly three types of cells. One is the RBC that is the red blood cells. WBCs, white blood cells and the platelets. The liquid portion of the blood is known as plasma. Now this plasma contains proteins in proteins like fibrinogen, prothrombin, albumin. Then it contains water. It contains other solutes like ions, minerals and other waste products. Now talking about the formed elements. So it contains platelets. So platelets they are mainly responsible for the formation of clot. Then we have leukocytes. They are WBCs. Now these WBCs they are further divided into five types. One is the neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils and basophils. Now these cells they are mainly responsible for the defense mechanism. Then comes the erythrocytes. Erythrocytes they are known as RBCs. The, their main function is to transport oxygen to each and every cells that, cell that is present in our body. Now talking about the functions of blood. Nutritive function. All the nutritive substances like glucose, amino acid, lipids, and various other vitamins that are derived from the digested food is absorbed by the gastrointestinal tract. Now these substances then enter into the blood and blood transports these substances to various cells of our body which ultimately helps in production of energy and growth. Talking about the respiratory function, the oxygen that we inhale enters into the alveoli. From alveoli, this oxygen enters into the blood. Blood then transports this oxygen to various cells 
and tissues of the body excretory function all the metabolic waste that is produced or that are formed after all the metabolic activities into the cell are removed by the blood blood carries this excretory substances towards the excretory organs like liver kidney skin etc ultimately helping in removal of this products from the body transport of hormones now in human body we have got various glands this glands are known as the endocrine glands endocrine glands secretes specific chemicals into the blood this chemical is known as hormones hormones they reach to the specific site and execute their action ultimately regulating the activity of various cells and tissues into the body regulation of water acid base balance blood contains various proteins now these proteins they act as a buffer and help in regulation of acid base balance storage function water electrolytes vitamins etc are constantly required by the body our blood acts as a ready made source for this substances in situations like electrolyte loss fluid loss etc then comes the defense function blood acts as a primary defense mechanism against all the pathogens entering into our body as blood contains white blood cells and various other cells which fight against all those pathogens that are entering into our body neutrophils and monocytes they engulf the bacteria by the process of phagocytosis lymphocytes they are involved in development of immunity eosinophils they detoxify they disintegrate and remove the foreign proteins from our body to know more about blood and the composition of blood stay tuned 